Hi everybody, it's Shari here and today we're going to be making this cool night sky camping card. I just got back from camping last weekend so I was inspired to make this card. I'm going to use the starry backdrops and the happy trail set to make this card. I've got a piece of Tim Holtz Distress watercolor paper here. It's already cut to a standard A2 size card. I'm using the textured side and I'm just prepping my piece of paper with a powder tool because I'm going to be doing some embossing. So I'm going to take that starry backdrop there, that big backdrop stamp piece, and I'm going to mount that to my acrylic block. The easiest way to do these big stamps is to lay it down and then pick it up with the block, I feel. And I've got my silver embossing powder ready up there, and I'm using Versamark ink. That's the clear, sticky ink that's great for embossing. And I'm going to need to stamp this stamp twice to fill the whole background. So I'm stamping once on one side. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the powder so that I can see where my stamped image is. Because with that clear ink you cannot see it on this white paper very well. So I'll go ahead and apply a coat of the embossing powder. And then I'm going to ink up my stamp again and stamp the other half of the sky. And I'm turning it around to get those little stars to kind of fit inside the ones along that edge so that you can't see the line very well. And it all looks continuous. And now I'm going to add embossing powder to the other side here. And I'm being careful not to touch any of the stars I already have the powder on because I haven't heated it yet. Now I'm going to heat the whole piece. I'm going to get my gun hot and I actually like to do some on the back first and kind of heat up the paper and then I'll go towards the front with the heat gun and melt all that silver embossing powder so it's nice and shiny. You can see kind of the shine there. I'm going to be doing some watercoloring with some distress inks. I've got the Blueprint Sketch, Dusty Concord, and Seedless Preserves. And this is how I store mine. I put a, a sample piece of cardstock with the ink swiped across it. And that way I, I like to hold them like that and kind of arrange how I want the colors to be. It lets me visualize it pretty well. I'm going to put a coat of water on the whole piece here with a big watercolor brush. So I'm just going to moisten the entire sheet. And I'll speed up the whole painting process just so my video is not super long. But you'll see me do the whole thing here. So I'm going to take these three colors and I've got them in the order that I want them. I want the blue kind of towards the top and the dusty concord in the middle and then the sealess preserves more towards the bottom. It's so sort of like a sunset -y sort of sky but it's more going to be a night sky. I don't have any oranges or anything in there. And now I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to add a little water. I'm going to do the bottom first. So I'm just going to kind of add some water and just splash that color around. Do the same thing with the dusty concord. I'm just going to work around till it's all completely covered and I have some places that it's not going to be like perfect lines across it. You can see the blue comes down a little more on that left side. I'm going to mix the two colors together some. Just kind of want to work it in there till you get the look you want. There's no real rules to this here. And you can see it's going to make the paper warp and it's kind of pulling up on the sides over there added a little bit of that more reddish of the sealess preserves up towards the top and then I'm going to kind of get that extra off and move it around a little bit. Now I'm going to hit it with my heat tool. See I sucked it up with a little baby wipe here. You get a paper towel you can kind of touch it to the edge and get that extra water off that's cooling up on the side. And I'm going to hit it with my heat tool just to dry it a little faster. So it's pretty even here the color but I wanted it to be a little less even. So you're gonna see here, I'm gonna add a little more of my ink to my craft mat. And what I did was I tried to do the little splotchy splatters. And I actually did not like the way it looked. This is a look I like, but it's just, I just wasn't for me. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a little more water and a little more color and I'm just kinda of going in. And I'm not gonna completely cover it, I'm just gonna make my own little splotchy places. So I like the splotchy look more than the 
the dots, the speckle, the splatters. They were a little too intense, so adding more water kind of thins them out a little so they're not so dark. And after I get it the way I want with the, the darker splotches on top of the lighter background, I'm going to hit it with the heat tool to dry it a little faster. Now my camera messed up so you can see I already stamped these and colored them, but I'm going to do it again. So I'm using the little car and the camper from the Happy Trail set. I'm stamping in memento black ink because I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring. So I'm going to speed it up here so you can see all this coloring. I was trying to pick colors that were more... Um, Less intense, I guess, would be the way to look at it. So it's a night sky, so I didn't want, you can see I did color a car down there that was like bright red. I'm like, well, it's nighttime. You wouldn't see it bright red like this. So I was trying to pick some colors that um, still looked like it was nighttime. And the little car and the little camper were just sitting out there at night. So I picked this teal color because I think that that depending on what color the car is, it still have that kind of bluish look at night. And I'm just doing some simple shading. I'm just going across the bottom with a darker color and then just blending it up. So I've just added a little bit of gray to the wheels as the trim. And I wanted it to be a two-tone kind of camper, so I'm going in with some creamy yellow color for the bottom. And I use a little bit of yellow for the windows because, you know, it's nighttime, so they're probably sleeping in the camper, not in the car. And then I tried to pick, like, a red color that's kind of matched that pinky color in the sky. It wasn't too bright. So that kind of ties the colors of the camper into the background. And then I'm going to also use the coordinating dies to cut these out. Just use a little bit of post-it note tape to hold them in place and then I'll run them through my die cut machine. And now I'm going to make the base of my little scene here. So I want it to kind of be silhouetted. So I'm using a piece of black cardstock, and I want the sentiment to be right along the bottom. So I'm actually going to stamp my sentiment first. And I'm using the You Drive Me Wild sentiment from this set. I'm going to stamp it right along the bottom there. So I want to pick that up and I want to heat emboss it in the same silver embossing powder because I want it to match the stars in the sky. So I'm just going to prep my pieces here. I've got that silver embossing powder and the VersaFine ink. And then I need to use the powder tool along the bottom so that I don't get any um, stray embossing powder. So now that I have that layer of powder on there, I'm going to ink up my sentiment with the VersaFine ink here and stamp it right close to the bottom. Stamping the sentiment before you cut, let's make sure you have enough space and it's lined up right. And then I'm gonna add my silver embossing powder. And because the silver is metallic, it does leave a little bit of sheen behind, but it's not actually powder that will melt and emboss. So it's easy once the sentiment is, or once the embossing powder is heated and cooled, to kind of just rub off that extra layer of the powder and get it nice and black again. So you can see I'm using my heat tool, it's melting, it's getting all shiny. Once it's cooled, I'll just kind of rub it with my fingers and get that excess off. So now I can cut the top of that little piece with the stitch hillside border, and I'm just lining it up, and I'm going to take my little car and camper, just make sure that kind of the slope of the hill is what I want it to be for those little pieces to sit on there. And then I'll just run that through my die cut machine, and you can see that it's just going to fit nicely right to the bottom of this panel. I also wanted a couple trees sort of silhouetted in the background, so I'm just using the dies from the same set and just cutting some trees out of black cardstock. Now I'm going to use this moon die that's from the Love You S'more set, the one with the little bear and the squirrel. And I'm just going to cut out and use the negative space. And you can see my card base there is yellow, so that yellow color is going to show through that moon shape that I cut out here just like this. So I'm going to be using some liquid adhesive to adhere this panel down to the card base 
It's a little warped from all the heating and the water and everything I've been doing to it. So the liquid adhesive will give a nice strong bond and allow me to kind of shift it around and get it lined up really well as well. Um, I'm just going to put some even pressure all around it and I'm actually going to take an acrylic block that's about this size and lay it on there so that there's some even pressure all around to hold it down just while the glue sets, which doesn't take very long at all, but it's just better than my hand, I think. Just nice even pressure. So once that has dried, I've put some foam adhesive on the back of this black piece that goes across the bottom and I'm just going to line that up and stick that down. I also put some foam adhesive on the back of the little car and the camper so that they can be level with the ground and look like they're driving along the ground there. And then when I add the trees, I'm actually going to use the liquid glue again because I don't want them to be at the same height as the car and the camper. I want them to look like they're more in the background so they're going to be adhered straight to the background. And I use the liquid adhesive again so I can have a nice strong bond especially because I'm going over some like embossing and it's not completely even surface. And I'm using my tweezers to tuck that right in there behind. Now the trees, they overlap the edge a little bit. You could trim those off if you wanted to, but I kind of like that they overlap. They don't overlap enough to where it would be a problem putting it in the envelope. And I wanted to use stickles, but my stickles are packed away because right now we're still waiting on our new house to get built and all our stuff's in storage. So I am going in with some Wink of Stella Clear Glitter just to add a little bit of shine to the moon and the accents on the camper and the car and then some on the trees. Just a little extra shininess there to go with the stars in the background. I like how when you move it around you can see the shininess. So there's the card and here's a closer look. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.